A high-ranking ally of the Me Too movement and critic of President Trump is resigning as New York State Attorney General because of allegations that he physically and emotionally abused four romantic partners. The women told The New Yorker magazine that Eric Schneiderman subjected them to non-consensual physical violence. In a statement, Schneiderman denied assaulting anyone and denied having any non-consensual sex but did say he will step down today. The Democratic Attorney General was one of the first officials to take action against Harvey Weinstein when he was accused of sexual misconduct. Jerika Duncan is here with the new accusations and the response. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office says it has now opened an investigation into the allegations against Schneiderman. The New Yorker spoke to four women, two who gave their names, and what the women allege is in direct contradiction to the cause that Schneiderman has spent more than a decade supporting. If a woman does not have the right to control her own body, she is not truly equal. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman built his career as a liberal progressive who stood up for women's rights. But on Monday, in a New Yorker report, the 63-year-old was described as a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde who was physically and emotionally abusive in private toward four women. Among them, Michelle Manning Barish, who told the New Yorker she began a romantic relationship with Schneiderman in 2013 that quickly turned violent. She claimed he was a heavy drinker and described one instance where he allegedly called her a whore and forcibly slapped her directly on her ear. He then allegedly used his body weight to hold her down and began to choke her. We've begun a long overdue reckoning with our culture of violence and silence. Tanya Selvaretnam said she met Schneiderman in 2016 and described her relationship with him as a fairy tale that became a nightmare. Selvaretnam, who was born in Sri Lanka, said Schneiderman started calling her his brown slave and would sometimes tell her to call him master. She alleged he would frequently slap her across the face, choke her, and spit on her. It wasn't consensual, she said. This wasn't sexual play acting. Schneiderman denies the abuse allegations, saying in a statement, In the privacy of intimate relationships, I have engaged in role-playing and other consensual sexual activity. The federal government has been taken over by anti-choice, anti-women extremists. In recent years, Schneiderman has raised his profile by taking on President Trump. He has also been at the forefront of the Me Too movement, filing a civil rights lawsuit against Harvey Weinstein and his company. This report is a major bombshell. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman said the Weinstein investigation likely won't be affected by Schneiderman stepping down. That case stands on its own. However, if any of these allegations against Eric Schneiderman are true, the hypocrisy is beyond belief. In a statement, Selva Retnam confirmed her account in The New Yorker. Manning Barish did not respond to our request for comment. Schneiderman praised The New Yorker last month when it won a Pulitzer Prize in part for its Weinstein coverage. He tweeted that without the brave women and men who spoke up about the sexual harassment they endured at the hands of powerful men, there would not be the critical national reckoning underway. The New York State Legislature will vote on a new attorney general to serve through the start of the new term on January 1st. I think this is just so bizarre and unlike a lot of the other cases, he's saying this was consensual. These women said they were in the relationship. But why be involved in something like that with someone that's not also interested in doing that, apparently? Yeah, it seems like he needs a new definition of consensual and role-playing. I think Ricky Kleeman said it best when she said the apparent... Hypocrisy is what has many people shaking their head and looking at him sideways, like what the, what in the world was going on in his life. And these were strong, you know, yes. successful women that yes. basically say once again it becomes I'm dealing with a powerful man who who has a lot to lose in this the, case. The chief law enforcement of New York, yeah. Absolutely. And right now it's four women. Yeah, yeah. Reckoning has come home to him. That's right. Thank you.